So, hi everyone, uh, I'm Srihari. Uh, I work at Nalenso, it's a software cooperative based in Bangalore. Um, that's my Twitter handle, and that's Nalenso's Twitter handle. Um, so, <laughs> Abhinav and Ned and I uh, forgot to mention yesterday that we are hiring. Uh, so, there's that. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start the talk, I suppose. Uh, that's the title of the talk. Read it. Um, so, what this talk is about is uh, it's about uh, modeling Carnatic music in code, right? Um, and it's about making a machine uh, sing Carnatic music in a way that's sort of close to how I would sing it. So, this is what we'll do throughout the talk, right? What we'll do is we start off with comparisons of me singing and the machine singing. And throughout the talk, we'll try to bridge the gap between these two things and we'll see how close we can get the machine to sing like me. What this is not about is generation, right? This is about um, synthesis, as in uh, developing the abstraction so that a machine can render music the way you'd want it. It's not about those uh, recurrent neural networks or deep learning things. Uh, that are absolutely fascinating and some things that I want to get into and I'll put a, fo a path forward uh, at some point during the talk. Uh, but it's not um, as much uh, about generation as it is about synthesis. So, um, what do you think? Do, do you think we should listen to some um, machine uh, link Carnatic music right away or should we do that later? Right away? Sure, so, so let's do that. Right, so that's a sample of uh, how it sounds right now, right? And, uh, yep, so let's go ahead and get uh, the, the talk started. We'll see how uh, we got there during the talk. So for the people who are uninitiated, um, Carnatic music is uh, South Indian classical music, um, and it's sort of uh, importance academically because it's um, sort of in the classic spectrum of things. And the reason why it sounds different is because of the presence of uh, gamakams. And what gamakams are and um, how they are modeled and stuff, we'll uh, go into depth during the talk because that's sort of uh, vital in uh, sort of modeling this thing. And how else it is different is that it's uh, mostly a vocal tradition in that uh, my teacher sings something to me and I repeat. Uh, and there's not much that's documented in the process. 